Press it, little boy. Press the button. Or just squat on the floor. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> I can't work out how to press it. <laughs> Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another episode of Boy With No Face Struggles to Balance on Seemingly Flat Surfaces. And in this episode, we, we finally found somebody with a face. This is the best moment of my life. Oh, what's going on? What's going on? Who's this? We can't hide. We need to hide. I lurk behind the box. Two people with faces. This is incredible. They're heading into that office. And he's just arrived on a submarine. Oh, should we try and get past while their backs are turned? Let's go for it. Ninja boy. Ninja boy. Get in here. Oh, <laughs> I feel like that wasn't how it was meant to go. So can we get into this? We must be able to. That was, <laughs> that was almost there. Incredible. We're in a submarine. Which means we can actually stay underwater for a long time. That's great. So how are you guys? I hope you're having a fantastic day. Thank you so much for hitting eight likes so quickly on the last video. It was like a day again. That's crazy. So definitely back for more. I'm not sure what to expect in this episode. This is about as far as I, I've seen in terms of the, the clips that I saw before I started this playthrough. So everything from this point on is just a complete mystery to me. Uh, can we get through this? Yeah, it just opens. Oh, this room is scary. And it doesn't look like we can do anything. Can we break through the floor? No. Give it a go. Is that right? Wow! That's how you do it. You just press control and you break right through. And now we are truly in the abyss. I'm not scared of this, but it is absolutely beautiful where we're going. I can see some light over there. Let's head towards that. This is amazing. The music's got really intense as well. Now since this is a crack, I'm assuming that means we can get through it. Let's give it a go. Done it. And now we're in a little tunnel. This is all spooky as hell. In fact, it almost looks like a city. Like there was some sort of civilization under here that got washed away. We can't go that way. Let's go down. Still trying to work out what the meaning of everything is so far. And from what I can tell, we're obviously in some sort of dystopian future. That bit is clear. I'm beginning to think that the people with no face, like our character, are clones. Ooh, <laughs> almost did it. They're clones or they're, they've been made by humans for some reason, I don't know whether to assist them, whether to rebuild the population, whether something terrible happened and a lot of the humans got wiped out. I'm still trying to learn the reasons why this has happened, but maybe this is our first clue as to the real meaning of the story. Now you'd think we'd be able to break through this. We'll keep going. It seems to carry on breaking. The red light's not good. Let's give it a go. Right, try once more. Are we going to get through that at all? Oh, I don't know. Maybe not. This is a door. Oh, this is all quite... This is a puzzle, I think. I think this is our first puzzle of this episode. So, let's take a look around and let's see what we can work out. Now, we can get out of this room, but I don't think we're supposed to do that. Is there anything on the floor... It's going to help us in our quest to break through or is it really just a case of keeping at it until we find a crack in this wall that we can actually get through let's try it wow i mean you'd think that would be right wouldn't you i'm going to keep on i'm going to break the whole crack until something happens <laughs> not like that it's not breaking is it it's almost like we've knocked through the plaster, but the steel reinforcements aren't going anywhere. In that case, do we get out of here? Let's try that. Let's 
get on out. Ah, oh, I think I've got it. We can swim through, can't we? We can't get through in our submarine, but we can swim through and then find a way to get this door open from the other side. That's not too bad. It's been really awesome so far, and I've absolutely loved playing it. Last episode was completely and utterly terrifying. Uh, with the dogs chasing us, with everything. It's not been so bad so far. Oh, rats, hello. <laughs> it's not been so bad in this episode, but I say that, you never know what's going to happen. Any, any second, <laughs> I could be terrified. <laughs> right, new room. And it's on a bit of a slope. This looks important. Press this. Oh, 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 oh. Can I outrun that? Can I outrun that? Get off, get off, get off, get off, get off. Whoa. Oh, tanks. Tanks of, are they barrels? I don't know. Is that, that opened up a door though. So maybe we can go back that way. Maybe that's where we need to go next. I thought there was more with the submarine than that though. Maybe we come back to it later. Back up to where we were, I think. Now those barrels have come out. Hopefully that's not something that's going to happen to us every time we push that button. <laughs> I sound uncertain. I'm living in hope over here. Right, we can see a red light over here. And what looks like a big window or a tank behind us. Yeah, this is the way forward, surely. Wow an underwater garden we're not even underwater are we this is just an air pocket that's incredible if we pull that it goes up yep does that mean we get to the rope at the top i'm just going to run right to the end as well and see if we can find out anything else got a wall so that's the end of that part you can see some tanks in the background this is incredible it makes you wonder really how on earth are these trees here? What are they doing there? It reminds me of the Truman Show, if you ever saw that film. Where um, they built like a fake world within a world. You must be able to press that. Why would you let press? Press it, little boy. Press the button. Or just squat on the floor. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> I can't work out how to press it. <laughs> Having a moment. Having a real moment over here. Stop, stop doing that. Do the thing that you... All right, maybe it's a case of going and then, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I was just, just doing my squats. Just keeping, fighting fit. We gotta make it over there, surely. At least we know how to push this now, right. I did it sort of automatically first time, which shows that the controls are pretty intuitive. Right, we've gotta get off here on that. Pro skills. Professional jumping abilities from McDurp. This place is cool. What we're going into now. So they've got some rubble. Almost like we've reached the end of their little fake setup. We've got a rope over here. Jump on that and swing it. Oh, I think we've got to climb up a little bit if we want to get through that hole up there. Climb up. Give it a good swing. And then jump. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Oh, that was close. Wow, <laughs> I didn't think we'd live that either. This is a button. And there you go, puzzle solved. We can go back and get our submarine now. That's amazing. Back under here. Oh! Oh! Whoa, what's wrong? What's wrong? Oh! <laughs> I screamed so loud that my boyfriend just came in to see if I was okay. <laughs> Oh, what the heck is that? No. No, 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 no. Get. I don't. Oh. Oh. Crap. <laughs> I don't know what that was, but it looked like it was coming to kill us. Can we, can we jump over? Let's give it a go. Oh, kind of. You know, I'm not getting out of this submarine ever again. I can't even steer it properly. I'm still shaking. <laughs> Get over there. All right, we've got to be able to do that. I refuse to believe we can't do it. Get over. Come on. Oh, so close. Maybe it's that we're actually doing it from too close. Let's try it from over here. 
Oh, look at that. Right over. I am on edge. <laughs> I am so on edge right now. I don't know what the heck that was, but I never want to see it again. Um, this, can we break through this? Yep, smashing through. Getting as far away from that creature as possibly can. Oh, another door over here. Oh, I thought I saw it again, but it was the shadow of the submarine. Uh. <laughs> That'll hurt. Let's get down here. Try that again. Get through. Get through, little boy. Oh, no. A button. Does that mean what I think it means? Because I don't want to. I don't want to do it. Can we go up here instead? I know we're going to have to press that button, but I don't want to get out of the submarine. No. No. God, no. We press the button. This door will open probably, won't it? Can we smash through this? No. <laughs> Why would they do this to us? It's cruel. It's so cruel. Can we get out whilst we're underwater? Is the question. Because if we can, I'll just lower myself out to here. No, because if we press up to get out, we can't. So, as horrifying as this is... Oh, I don't want to do it. It's going to come out. It's going to tear up. Oh. Oh. Just do it. Just do it. Be brave. Get down there. The thing's going to come and swim. I, I know it. I know it. I know it. I know it. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get, get, get out of here. As quickly as is oh, physically possible. <laughs> and then get going. Oh. That's the scariest thing I've seen so far. How are we supposed to get through this? Do we jump? Do we jump through? We can give it a go. There seems to be a big enough hole for us. Or do we go underneath? Let's try and go down. That's not going to happen. Oh, it's obvious. It's obvious. We've got, we've got to get the submarine over first and then swim all the way over here to do it. Yeah. I've got it. Don't worry. Press it. Get back in the submarine. Get over here and then get it in the right location. Get out of it. Swim all the way back. It's quite a simple puzzle. <laughs> so we get this over this side of it. I'm so hoping I don't see that thing ever again. Whatever it was, it was horrible. <laughs> This is cool as well. You see the air vents. We're in another warehouse, but this time we're so deep underwater that you wouldn't think there'd be anything like this down here. It's been an interesting story. I think Inside is one of those games. It doesn't give you any clues at all as to what's going on. You really do have to infer it from your surroundings and the sort of subtext. And that's good. I hope it's got a good ending. I've never seen the ending. I hope it's not one of those really open-ended ones but sort of left open to, the, to your imagination as to what might really be going on it would be good to find out exactly who we are and what we're doing in this place so if we go down here now we can break through that can't we no can we jump over we must be able to jump over because that was only a little bit so giving it a go getting ready ninja We've done it. Puzzles complete. And now we're not going to drown when we try and make our way through here. That's another door to smash. Nailed it. Oh. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, God. You can't, you can't get me. You can't get me in this, can they? <gasps> they can't get me. Oh, God. Oh. I thought I was safe in the submarine. What the hell? No, 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 no. They're going to get me. I've got to get up or away as quickly as possible. Oh. Oh. Okay. I can do that. And then I can stop them and she backs away. Looks like a troll doll. <laughs> do you remember them from when you were little? I used to hate them. Still do. Hate them even more now. Get away from me. You freaky, hairy, bearded, naked thing. <laughs> can try. Can try. What? 
Ninja, stop. Get out of here. We're going to have to get closer to that door, aren't we? Get right on out there. It's a shame we can't drive backwards because that would help an awful lot. I'm just going to get her as far away from me as possible for this bit because we need to get through the door. Can scare her back and then can we control and smash into this? Oh, <laughs> that was a good strategy. Hopefully she can't get through that tiny crack. Phew. That roof looks smashable as well. Oh, this has not been... I thought this might be a nice calm episode where we were just floating around underwater and having a great time. It isn't in the slightest. It's absolutely horrifying. <laughs> Let's have a look. We're back up on the surface now. Oh, check this out. New part. That's cool. That was our underwater bit and it was horrible. <laughs> I like I like being underwater, but never, never again. <laughs> This place is massive and intimidating looking. Let's skip. Let's skip to make ourselves feel better. Skip. Run and skip. <laughs> wow, it looks like Alcatraz or something. It's like a massive prison. That's cool. Oh, the music as well. The music's got super bassy. Push it, little boy. Come on, McDuck. Whoa. Oh, no. Oh, hell. Oh, sh Oh no! How the heck do we live that? Who the heck is this guy? And what is that noise? Oh! Oh, I don't like that at all. I'm gonna run away from him. I would run away from everything if I could. Kinda sounds like dubstep. Sounds like someone's got some dubstep on the go in here. <laughs> if only. We'll just stop. Dubstep break incredible Ooh. a lift a u-turn and a load of dead people <laughs> oh oh what the heck is that oh no I don't want to go through ladies and gentlemen I think we're gonna have to leave it here for this episode because I don't know what's happening and I'm so scared and I, I will see you next time. <laughs>